the U.S. commitment to provide the European Union with additional at least 15 billion cubic meters of LNG this year is a big step in this direction because this will replace the LNG supply we currently receive from Russia. And looking ahead, the United States and Europe will ensure stable demand and supply for additional at least 50 billion cubic meter of US LNG until 2030. And if we look at that, this amount, 50 BCM per year, is replacing one third already of the Russian gas going to Europe today. So we are right in, on track now to diversify away from Russian gas and towards our friends and partners, reliable and trustworthy suppliers. We need to secure our supplies not just for next winter, but also for the years ahead. And this is a, an important, a big starting point to do that. Our partnership aims to sustain us through this war, to work on our independence from Russian fossil fuels, but it also focuses on building a greener future with climate neutrality. We will work together also with our energy intensive industry. And the good news is that the infrastructure that we use for gas today can be used for clean hydrogen in the future. So this investment we are doing right now is also an investment in the decarbonizing of our economy. The cooperation shows the power of our democracies. I particularly welcome that we will step up our respective action on strengthening democracies, the rule of law, the freedom of media in the world, and we also need to continue adapting our own democracies to a changing world. This is particularly true when it comes to digitalization, in which the protection of personal data and privacy has become so crucial. And therefore, I'm very pleased that we have found an agreement in principle on a new framework for transatlantic data flows. This will enable predictable and trustworthy data flows between the EU and US, safeguarding privacy and civil liberties. And I really want to thank Commissioner Reinders and Secretary Raimondo for their tireless efforts over the past month to finish a balanced and effective solution. This is another step in our strengthening our partnership. We managed to balance security and the right to privacy and data protection. Mr. President, dear Joe, Putin is trying to turn back the clock to another era, an era of brutal use of force, of power politics, of spheres of influence and internal repression. I am confident he will fail. We are working together to forge a peaceful, prosperous and sustainable future. And I know we will succeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone.